Perhaps Juan Lopez used electricity from his cell light to power up his salsa escape. Given the qualities of salsa, acidity, uh, salinity, spiciness, <laughs> I think that the salinity is going to be the most corrosive, and I will facilitate the salinity by adding electrolysis to the process, which is quite easy with this light. It seems a cunning plan. Any saline solution, like salsa, can be used as an electrolyte. Pass an electric current through it, and it should increase the rate of oxidation of the iron bar, or in other words, cause it to rust. I'm attaching the anode of my impromptu prism electrolysis machine. All right, now, two live wires. And finally, the secret ingredient. I'll let this rag stand in for my underpants. For some slightly disturbing reason, Adam thinks that adding his underpants into the mix will increase the rate of corrosion. The weirdest jailbreak in history is about to begin. Oh, let's see if this is hot. That's hot. Hot and deadly. I actually have a lot of experience with electricity, and I know how to do this to keep myself safe. This is plenty, plenty of power to kill me very quickly. You should never do this at home, ever. I'm roasting salsa. This is cool, but I'm pumping lots of electricity through the wire, through the bar right there. <coughs> the sizzling in Adam's cell twitches nostrils and raises eyebrows. So you don't think the other prisoners or guards in this prison would have smelled burning salsa? I don't think this would draw anyone's attention at all. Uh, I've been granted the privilege of having a radio in my cell, and this is going to form the basis of my escape attempt. The theory is that if I take this radio apart and I find a DC transformer in here, it's going to allow me to accelerate the corrosive process. Jamie knows that only DC current will work in electrolysis. Adam doesn't, which is why he's using AC current and simply yeah. cooking salsa. Adam is using AC current, which has it going both ways, and it's going to maybe take some metal off, but then it's going to put it back, it'll take it off, it'll put it back. This approach, I believe, is going to be a lot more direct, direct current, and we're going to accelerate the process a lot more. Armed with his unshared knowledge, Jamie extracts the DC transformer and creates an electrical circuit on his cold rolled steel bar. There we go. That looks pretty darn perfect to me. Now for the salsa. In electrolysis, electrons flow from the negatively charged steel rod through the saline salsa solution and into the positively charged copper wire, causing corrosion. So we are getting voltage, so I haven't blown the radio yet. It's working. And I can see slow little bubbles forming in the middle of the salsa. It's exactly what I want, a slow flow of electrons away from the, the steel and into the copper wire. It's day 26 at the Mythbusters Mexican prison, and the salsa escape contest is heating up. For almost a month, Adam has been passing AC current through salsa to corrode his iron bar. Good morning, dearies. Would you like a little food? Oh, yeah. Oh, you love that, huh? I, I have to believe I'm doing something with this. There's a serious amount of power going on. Meanwhile, Jamie has been using DC current and salsa to corrode his bar. A quick check on progress shows that Adam's going nowhere fast. <coughs> oh, God, this stuff smells rank. It looks kind of like poo. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm getting much of anything, does it? If anything, it's getting thicker. I'm increasing the mass of the bar. Meanwhile, Jamie's been working miracles. Whoa! No way! It's a staggering result. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. You made it through like two tenths of an inch in a month. <laughs> Salsa is definitely getting outlawed in prisons after this. Well, it seems like we're about halfway through it at present. Um, it's doing really well. Just goes to show there's a significant difference between AC and DC electricity in this application. And that's just with a little tiny DC uh, rectifier that is on, uh, on the radio. So it's really quite fun. Jamie's winning and grinning, while Adam's trailing again. Well, I produced a hell of a lot of fireworks, but no actual results, and I think I have to call it quits and admit defeat. DC is obviously much better than AC, but I've still got a couple of tricks.
tricks up my sleeve. Like cheating. There's a movie called Shanghai Noon in which Jackie Chan breaks out of prison using a silk shirt wrapped around the bars and he twists them until the bars move far enough for him to slip between them. And the theory, the myth is that wet silk doesn't break. So I've got a silk shirt here. I'm going to try it around my bars and see if that works. You know, I don't think Jackie Chan used real weight. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it's warm. I don't want it to be warm. Adam's enthusiasm for this twisted myth is running dry. There's pee everywhere. Since I'm doing so well with my own bars, I'll see if I can help you out with yours. On Mythbusters, friendship knows no bounds, unlike the silk. There it goes. What? Where did it break? At the bars. Yeah, it seems to have sheared right there. <sighs> so, pee-soaked silk shirt. Busted. Adam's washed up after four months of failure, and this escape becomes a one-horse race. At the outset of their bid for freedom, Adam and Janie set up various tests to see which of Salsa's qualities are most corrosive. 0.609. The acid and saline solutions have eaten into the bars, but it's the salsa itself that's taken the biggest bite. The salsa's having more damage on this than any of our uh, other control tests. It would seem that there's something about the salsa, the combination of acid and salt and water, and that's picante. greater than the sum of its parts. It's the picante part of it that does is going. Eight one thousandths of an inch of iron in 110 days. Working gangbusters, it seems. A couple thousand months and 50 years, you'd be right through that bar. Psh, gone, man. But perhaps like Jamie, one used a DC current from a radio to speed up corrosion. Now that we've seen the combined effects of salsa, I think it's time to see the combined effects of Heinemann and some electricity and an iron bar. Okay. Incredibly, the Mythbuster with the mustache is only a whisker away from freedom. <laughs> Dude, that is radical. Jamie, you are such a stud. <laughs> that is so radical. I am really impressed. You know, I think it worked pretty well. If Juan had done that to all the bars, he'd be up by now. I'm just totally blown away by how effective that is. I think it's going to initiate a new spate of lockdown rules in prisons across the United States. Well, so much for DC current and salsa and electrolysis.